11 athletes have had tremendous sporting years. And that all culminates tonight when the Tim Turo Award winner is announced as the 2012 Cambridge Athlete of the Year. The nominees are Nathan Brannan, Athletics. The Cambridge 1500 meter specialist spent four years training for the Olympics. In 2012, he won the Sun Angel Classic in Tempe, Arizona, just four seconds off the Olympic A qualifying standard. He was first again in his next 1500 meter race in California before finally hitting full stride on May 27th when he not only beat the A qualifying standard at the Fanny Blanker's Cone Games in the Netherlands, but also eclipsed his personal best time. The same month at the trials, Nathan won the Victoria Track Classic and the Donovan Bailey Invitational to prepare for becoming a two-time Olympian. When the trials rolled around, Nathan won the 1,500-meter race to earn his Olympic spot. At the London Games, Brandon breezed through the preliminaries. In the semis, sitting in sixth and ready to make his push with 600 meters left, he tripped and hit the track. Despite being spiked, Nathan got back up and tried to get back in the race. Though devastated at the way his Olympics turned out, later that summer he faced many of the 1,500-meter Olympians in a 1,000-meter race in Linz, Austria. Nathan finished second in 2 minutes, 16.52 seconds, bettering Graham Hood's Canadian record of 2 minutes, 16.88 seconds. He ended his season by vowing he would be back in 2016. Josh Crone, lacrosse. The Southwood graduate surprised most people when he ended up playing competitive lacrosse at Bishop's University in Sherbrooke, Quebec, after a high school career that saw him excel at volleyball and basketball. In his final year at Bishop's, Josh showed why he made the right choice. The 23-year-old led Bishop's to the Begataway Cup University Box Lacrosse Championship, scoring two goals in an 11-6 win in the finals against Brock. That put him on top in the playoff race and scoring with 18 points, nine goals, and nine assists. It was the first time a team from Quebec won the box lacrosse title. More impressive than his play in the final was his performance in the semifinals against Guelph. Down 8-2 to two at one point, Bishops came back to win 12-1 to one and Josh had five goals. The way he led Bishops earned him the championship tournament MVP and Canadian University Field Lacrosse Association East Division All-Star Team Honors. The accolades didn't stop there, though, as his 46 points during the regular season, which put the team in fourth in Canada and second in the East Division, earned him the league MVP award, and he was named the most outstanding attack man. In April, Josh was named Bishop University's Male Athlete of the Year. Madeline Gardner, Gymnastics. Madeline's one focus coming into 2012 was to be in the Olympic Games, but first she needed to help the team qualify. Canada had to finish in the top eight at the World Championships in October 2011 in Tokyo to qualify a full team. Madeline competed in bars, beam, and floor and helped Canada finish 11th overall to move on to the second qualifying event. Her work in Tokyo propelled her into the second test event. She was one of seven gymnasts picked out of 11 to compete in the London Prepares Series Test Competition. The top four teams qualifying for the Olympics, Madeline led the Canadian team on beam with a score of 14.133 and helped the country to second overall and a spot in the Olympics. With the team qualified, Madeline ramped up her preparation for a spot on the Olympic team at Elite Canada where she finished fourth at senior all-around and first on beam and eighth on bars. At Gymnix International in Montreal, she scored bronze in beam before earning sixth in the same event at the Zebo World Cup. At the national championships, Madeline took fifth in all around and won silver on beam and fourth in uneven bars. The marks for the nationals, along with marks from the Olympic selection camp in June, would be a big factor in picking the Olympic team. At selection camp, Madeline achieved the highest score on beam and fourth on bars to earn enough points to be named second alternate, supporting the team every step of the way. Julia Aurahim, Karate, probably the most disciplined 15-year-old you'd ever meet. Julia has nerves of steel. How else could the team compete in the kata division of karate, which shows off the various martial arts forms? Different from sparring, kata takes concentration and a mental toughness rarely seen in someone so young. While some can harness that intensity, few can generate it at an elite level. Julia is an exception. The Southwood students showed promise last year with a bronze medal win the national championships and used that to have her best year in 2012. 
Not only was Julia a double provincial gold medalist in the junior and cadet divisions, she won gold at the Canadian Championships to make her the number one ranked junior in the country. That ranking sent her to the USA Junior Olympics in Las Vegas, and Julia turned in a silver medal winning performance. Now preparing for her first Pan American Championships in Mexico, Julia won gold at the Ontario Summer Games and two golds at a Quebec Invitational Tournament. Her year was topped off by a selection to the exclusive World Development Team for Karate Canada. Whitney McClintock, Water Skiing There isn't much that Whitney McClintock didn't do on the water this year. The 23-year-old continued her water skiing dominance, starting off in October 2011 with a gold and two silver medals in the Pan Am Championships. That ended last year, but she picked up where she left off by becoming the 2012 Moomba Masters Champion in Australia, winning slalom and tricks and coming first overall while taking second in jump. Whitney moved into the World Cup in Madura, Australia and came in seventh in tricks and jump and used that finish to buoy herself to an overall bronze at the U.S. Masters and a silver in the slalom. The Canadian Water Ski Championships is where Whitney really showed why she is the best in the nation, winning gold in trick, slalom, jump and overall in both the women's open and elite divisions for eight first place finishes. She is currently fourth in the world in the International Water Ski and Wakeboard Federation rankings and second in slalom, fifth in tricks and tenth in jump. She is also the number one rated elite woman in the world in slalom. Victoria Moore's Gymnastics as Canada's best junior gymnast, you got the feeling that Gymnastics Canada was just waiting for Victoria to hit 15 and become a senior to increase the country's chances at the Olympics. But when she did, she didn't disappoint. Victoria started off in Combes, France, and not only held Canada to first place in the team category, but was first all around and on vault and floor, second on bars, and fourth on beam. At the last competition before the London Test event, she was second all around and first on vault and floor at the Master Massalia in Marseille. From there, Victoria was chosen to help Canada try to qualify a full team for the London Olympics. Armed with a move known as a double twisting double back on floor, the only Canadian junior and senior to perform it, Moores was second and helped Canada finish in second place to qualify for the Games. A third all around at the Elite Canada and first on floor, and a fourth all around at the American Cup in New York was a good start. Following that, she had top 10 finishes in at the Pacific Rim Championships and the World Cup in Zibo, China. At the Canadian Championships, Moores was second all around, second on bars, and first on floor. With that performance and impressing at the training camp prior to the Olympics, Moores was named to the women's gymnastics team. Ashley Nichols, Muay Thai. Ashley Nichols' year has been nothing but championships. She's earned so much gold that the Muay Thai fighter must be worth $1 million. Traveling the world and taking on all corners, Ashley took the World Muay Thai Federation Pro-Am World Championship in Thailand before also taking the organization's Intercontinental Championship in Bermuda. Ashley didn't stop there, winning the International Federation of Muay Thai Amateur North American title in Mexico. Then it was back to conquer North America, winning two gold medals at the Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu Ascension Provincial Open in Toronto and Thai Boxing Association for Ladies Class A World Classic Championship in the U.S. Ashley finished off the year in September with two career highlight wins, taking the IFMA World Championship in Russia and the World Association of Kickboxing Organization North American Low Kick Championship in Canada. Garrett Rank, Golf Garrett Rank took his game from the University Loop and beyond this year, but while the Whistle Bear Golf Club member had to know it was going to be a memorable year when he was named to the Canadian National Golf Team on October 1, 2011, being the fifth-ranked amateur golfer in the world certainly didn't hurt that cause. Since then, as a University of Waterloo warrior, Garrett won the OUA Individual Championship, was an academic All-Canadian, 2012 Canadian University Champion, named the University of Waterloo 2012 Athlete of the Year. Outside of school, he was just as dominant and named as first team All-Canadian with the Royal Canadian Golf Association and a Golf Association of Ontario Quest for Gold Athlete. Garrett then moved to the U.S., where he finished second at a local U.S. Open qualifier and sixth at the sectionals. At the 2012 United States Golf Association Mid-Amateur, he made it to the final in the match play event. Despite being four down at one point, Garrett managed to tie the game before losing on the final hole. The winner of the event is usually given a spot at the U.S. Masters. 
Rihanna Story, Equestrian. Rihanna Story grew up around horses and that familiarity showed in the past year as she packed what many people would consider an entire career into that time. After being named the American Quarter Horse Association Youth Supreme Champion and the High Point Canadian Youth for 2011, Story was named to the unofficial team captain for Team Canada, the 2012 Youth World Cup in Kruth, Germany. Having the last pick for the group of horses didn't deter Rihanna or the Canadian team as she helped the country finish in fourth place overall. Individually, she won two gold medals, one silver and two bronze, and was named the High Point Equitation Rider and Reserve High Point Overall Rider. Rihanna was awarded after an outstanding year by accepting a full equestrian NCAA scholarship at Division I New Mexico State University, where she is currently attending. Joel Tenney, Lacrosse. Joel Tenney is a rare breed. The Culver Military Academy student was MVP with the Guelph Regals lacrosse team, an Ontario Lacrosse Association All-Star and MVP of the league. After committing to Johns Hopkins University for lacrosse, Joel proved why he'll be a valuable asset to that team. As a freshman, he led the team in points with 68, was selected as a lacrosse All-American at high school. This winter at age 16, he was invited to the Canadian U-19 National Field Lacrosse Selection Camp for the Federation of the International Lacrosse Men's U-19 World Championship in Turku, Finland. He figured he was just chosen to fill a spot on the 50-man training camp lineup. Joel had other ideas. The youngest player at camp by 18 months, he wowed management and was named to the 24-man team. At the Worlds, Joel was also the youngest player in Canada's pool, which included the U.S., England, Australia, and Iroquois Nationals. Despite his age, Joel finished in the top 10 in tournament scoring and helped Canada to a silver medal. The highlight of the tournament for Joel and the team was beating the U.S. 11-9 in overtime in the round robin as the United States hadn't lost a game prior to that in the 24-year history of the tournament. Trevor Webb, Racquetball. Trevor Webb's racquetball resume would make a seasoned veteran green with envy. At 14, Webb has six national championships and too many provincial championships to mention. He's also qualified for the Junior Worlds three times. But Trevor Webb will have a first when he finally heads to the World Championships this month in Los Angeles, California. After finishing second in the under-14 division, the Canadian Junior Racquetball Championships in April in Winnipeg, Manitoba. Trevor balked at previous World Championship because he would have had to pay his own way for the globetrotting, but this time he earned a valuable paid spot. Though Webb is a pretty solid singles player, his best bet for a medal may be in doubles. He's played doubles the last three years at National and won gold every time. His partner at the Canadians, Nadav Dinur, finished fourth at Nationals and didn't qualify for Worlds, so he'll team up with his former partner, John DeMichel, in the quest for a medal.